the French are seeing these things being a rupture in their eyes at, in this 21st century because they have been benefiting from these things for too long. And they are trying to think the future of the French Empire because they put all of this to promote the French Empire and they are trying to see the French Empire going down. This is unfair to say, but I'll say it. For France, the chicken are coming home to roost. They are now being reminded of what they did to Guinea in 1958. They are being reminded of what they did to Algeria. They are being reminded of what they did in Indonesia and other parts of the world. I hope that this very painful lesson is going to send a clear message to the French administration that the time is now to accept and acknowledge that the injustices that are inbuilt in the French system will be dealt with and dealt with satisfactorily with people participation. Of course, every empire, if you study the history of empires in the world, they have they are just like a roller coaster. They rise and they fall. It, they cannot be there forever. Was, the Roman Empire was dominated the world for so long. They fell one day. The British Empire, they fell one day and so on. The American and the French Empire, they are falling. They are witnessing their fall now. And there's nothing that can stop it. If it's, it, it's no military might that can stop that. So it is just for them to think cooperation. Cooperation like other nations are doing, like the Chinese are doing. The Chinese are not coming to grab everything that you have. This is what they call win-win cooperation. That's what the 21st century should be talking about. And this is what the French doesn't want to understand. They have been there. They've been trained to think that they are masters. Now, and then, answer this question. Yes. We, last week, the, one of the, the leaders, one of them, leaders of the indigenous people of Biafra, Simon Epa, Yes. I uh, yes. did a Facebook outing yes. and that Niger should not bother. If they say it's an equal intervention, Nigeria, they will be attacking Nigeria from the east. Is this Nigeria, is Tinubu not aware of this security threat? Because the Biafran civil war that started in 1967 yes. and then in the 70s, millions, almost millions of lives lost, properties destroyed. Is there is a resurgence of that Biafran civil war? Where we are also witnessing arms have uh, arms have been introduced now. Yeah, it's similar mm. like to what is happening in the northwest and southwest region. Oh, really? They have a group. If, if oh. Camo, imagine that Camo was to go to war in the time that the Anglophone crisis started, will Camo be strong enough? Never, never. They so will never be strong Nigeria enough. Yeah, I think I've been following Nigerian media all these days. There is this high level of opposition to what Tinubu is trying to do, and if Tinubu tries that he tries to go into war, he may risk he may risk being removed from power. From impeach. Yes, he may risk being impeached. Because first of all, the Senate has not approved of that. The Parliament has not approved of that. And the laws are clear. Before you engage into war, the Senate and the Parliament has to approve of it. And they have not voted for this and Tinubu has unilaterally gone ahead to support the idea of a equal standing army. Which is contradictory. Yeah, if I get you, if I get yeah. you, Tinubu is and going. They are saying that there's no national interest. There's no national interest at stake. Because a president can take a unilateral decision to go into war, maybe even without a parliament, when there is national interest yeah, at just stake. For seven days. Yes. The president can go to Wallo? Yeah. Well, those are the voices of the people. Uh, they don't want Africa to use the force in Niger. And finally, the African Union Security Council rejects all proposals for military intervention in Niger. African Union Security Council votes against the use of force against labels in Niger. Reports say the decision was made during a council meeting on Monday, French media reported, citing source. Uh, the board re reported uh, added that the council also decided to temporarily suspend Niger's participation in the African Union. But all in all, uh, African Union has shown uh, the way that uh, to use military intervention in Niger uh, is not good because all of, of the people 
and know that the source is not Niger. The source of all these problems is the division that have been created by former uh, colonies or colonizers who are divided this continent. And if you look uh, the problem in Francophone, all of us we know. So uh, these decisions are coming at the right time that there's no need for using uh, military intervention against each other. Of course, we must understand that we are brothers and sisters. Why we fight each other? We can come together. And if you listen the people, and when we talk about democracy, we are talking about the will of the people. And the people, uh, in the majority, want changes. Of course, uh, there is a way to bring changes, but how can the people wait while they are suffering. That is a difficult thing that uh, the people can't wait. People want good services. People want uh, employment. So it's sometimes it is difficult for the people to wait until five years or 10 years. So I think we Africans, especially those who have got the chance to read, must read with the will of the people, what the people needs, what the majority want in their territories. That is the main issue. So